a fun little video for you today. I'm gonna try to take every DoorDash order I get. And there's, we're gonna start right here, right now, with a five door, five dollar order to Wendy's. And uh, I've never made a video like this, so we're gonna give it a try. DoorDash, every single, every single order they give me, I'm gonna take. See what happens. Next up, McDonald's for three dollars, three point two miles. Normally I would be running Grubhub and multi appin and I probably would have skipped that one. But we're just going to run all DoorDash orders today, see what happens. Uh, my first delivery went to Pizza Hut. <laughs> that Wendy's order went in there. It said Sweet A. And uh, I came here and this is Sweet 1. And there's no marking there. It turns out this is Sweet A1. And Pizza Hut's actually Sweet A2. And uh, I thought that was kind of just ironic that <laughs> they're, they're, they're not a normal Pizza Hut. They're just strictly delivery and carry out. I thought it was ironic that they didn't give the right address. Start out the day. That could be, let's see if that's an ominous sign for the day. See if we run into other weird and wild, weird and wacky events. All right, started this video at noon. We'll just call it noon. I'm not sure how long ago. I might just go straight through the dinner rush. Maybe noon to 10. 10 hours. See how we do. Another McDonald's. $5.75. 2.2 2 miles. That's pretty good. So with DoorDash, they have a program called Top Dasher. I'll get into that here in a second if I get a, a couple free minutes to sit and talk. When I first started doing this, I considered DoorDash basically the worst app you could use. I think I had like five, five apps there for a while to start and when you first start on a DoorDash, they give you all these cheap orders, like $2 orders, $2.75 order. And it's just ridiculous. You think, what in the world? But uh, they have a Top Dasher program, and I'll get into that. It's actually pretty good. I think I actually consider top, uh, DoorDash is probably, probably number one, followed by Uber Eats. If, if you're a Top Dasher, I'll go ahead and show it right now, I suppose. So with Top Dasher, they have these requirements. You have to have a 4.7 or above customer rating. You have to have an acceptance rate above 70%. That means the orders they give you, you gotta take 70 out of 100. At the end of the month, you've gotta have 100 deliveries above 4.7, above 70% acceptance. And I think completion rate is, is 95%, I think. If you just start out on DoorDash, brand new today, then uh, you would need to take 200 lifetime deliveries and 100 deliveries per month to, to remain top dasher with all those requirements. And when you're top dasher, they do pay you off. And uh, I probably should have learned this a long time ago, but now I know. Making this video, f messing with the camera will probably cost me maybe two, two deliveries by the end of the show, two or three deliveries time consuming okay the wild weird and wackiness may have begun for today i'm in an apartment complex with a bunch of buildings with letters a b c d e f g and there's like 10 different apartment 201s here and 1705 apartment 201 <laughs> they don't have the letter of the building so i don't know which building it is i generally text but let's give them a call Hey, this is DoorDash with your McDonald's. I don't have the letter for the building of your apartment. There's a bunch of different 201s. If you wouldn't mind giving me a call back. I also sent you a text, man. All right, later. Please close the screen and click the help icon in the top right hand corner. That's what I already did. This is stupid. It's just running me in circles. Uh, I, that doesn't make any sense. Please complete the delivery to move on to your next opportunity. Um, all right, so I went through that little chat process like seven or eight times <laughs> and uh, Finally, I've found a way to get to a live agent. They change it a lot of the times. So uh, 
uh, okay, this is a live proof, live human being texting to me now. Uh, so a situation like this for a new person, like I said earlier, it's probably getting people kicked off the app because they'll just, they won't know what to do, right? They'll either just take the food and eat it themselves or cancel the order or, or set it at a random 201 building, apartment. And then the customer will call back. Uh, let, let me check with this customer and wait to, so they're calling the customer. I've already been here for 10 minutes. It's, uh, it's now one o'clock almost. So it's still not a bad hour. We'll see what happens. I'm, the thing is, is I'm, I might have free lunch, right? I might get to eat their entire order. We'll see, we'll see what they say to do here. All right, so the live agent told me to do the same thing I've been doing for 15 minutes sitting here. <laughs> so let's go to the question mark. And uh, so it's just running me in circles. Even the live agent just ran me in a big circle. It told me to go back and do the same thing I'm doing. And, and there's no option to cancel or anything. So uh, this can get really stupid sometimes. Sometimes the live agents don't even understand what they're doing. And uh, Taco Bell, $3.20. 1.3 miles it's 118 so all in all I'm doing pretty good so far so when I was in Taco Bell the guy from McDonald's that I couldn't find he called finally <laughs> after I waited like 20 25 minutes he was wondering where his food was Hello. what's up man you are Taco Bell yes Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Have a nice evening. You too. Oh, that vape store smelled like a big fart. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, so I just told him to get a refund. He he was boggled. I was like, dude, you need to give me the letter at the building. And he just was like, what? Uh, I don't know what. So stuff like that happens, and I'll probably end up getting a. Uh, strike against me let me show you this in the ratings they'll be like up here above this there'll be like a red zone it'll say one strike and you get like three or four before you get booted off the platform every hundred deliveries so uh six dollars fifty cents seven point two miles a place called homegrown kitchen i don't know that i've been there before Sometimes they'll have be different names for the same place. Let's go see what this is about. I have been here once. One time before. It's kind of a new place. This downtown here used to just be a dirty old ghost town. They've really been fixing it up here in the last decade or so. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Hey, thanks a lot. With that one, the the pin, the map took me to the street behind the apartment building. Not too big of an issue, but it can get pretty amazing sometimes. Uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill, 675 for 7.9 miles. That's not very much money for that distance, but this video, I'm taking every single order they give me. So, uh, see how it goes. I've never done this before. Did I say that yet? <laughs> That's why I'm making a video. I thought it might be kind of a neat little video topic. Take every single order DoorDash gives me for 10 hours. Let's just go 10 hours. Let's go 10 hours. I might take a break. I might not. We'll see how it goes. But uh, every order they gave me for 10 hours. See how much we make. I've got a lull in the action here. I don't mind. I kind of like it actually in, in this neck of the woods. My Planet Fitness. I actually turned Grubhub on. Thought I might sneak a Grubhub in. We've got a lull on the action. Two o'clock, 2.24. This is basically the dead time between lunch and dinner. So let's see what I can sneak in here. I like popping in here. 
between runs is kind of nice actually works out good i'd rather be making money of course but this is a good spot to get it stalled out what you think I do lightweights, high reps. I don't know what you guys do. 53 years old. Starting to fight gravity, folks. <laughs> I got one set in. McDonald's, 450. What'd I say? Two miles, 2.4 miles? I'll cheat a little here. A little sneaky poo. Wendy's, eight dollars for what's that say? Three point three miles. That's pretty good. So, if you're not top dasher, this is why I didn't like door dash. I said it earlier, like that was eight dollars for like three point miles. So that's a, a customer added a tip to that, right? Probably like four or five dollar tip. So if you're not top dasher, top dasher on door dash, it seems like they'll stick you with all the orders that don't tip. You become top dash here and you'll start getting expensive orders from like sit down restaurants for dinner the people want it delivered you know the, the nicer restaurants and uh big difference the difference is night and day actually so doordash like i said earlier basically it's went from my basement to my my number one app i really like it i'll talk more about it later how they got the app design and stuff Popeyes Louisiana kitchen four dollars fifty cents three and a half miles I need to get gas another McDonald's 450 for uh, one point what's that say six miles I'm here at the customer's house this is how it's been going but pretty much for most of the day except for that break when I went to Planet Fitness as soon as I confirm an order they give me another one DoorDash where I live at least is real good about that and uh I was hoping I could get a couple minutes here to talk, but I gotta get going. So I can say it now, I suppose. The DoorDash kind of has their uh, their app designed to be kind of addictive. That's one of the things I noticed when I was using Uber Eats and GrubHub when I was multi-apping Spark and stuff. Um, I noticed DoorDash. It looks like DoorDash is using the algorithm. I don't know if it's the algorithm, but an algorithm, a system where they try to get people addicted. It looks a lot like the social media algorithm, which was based off of Las Vegas slot machines. They, they basically just copied how slot machines addict people. Social media, that's basically what they did. And it, it, DoorDash is kind of using that. And I really dis dislike that because they did that to people. But then, now that I've gotten into just being top dash on door dash, I kind of like it. <laughs> um, you know, because they give you all these incentives to, you know, if you, if you take all these crappy orders, you'll eventually get better orders. And, and uh, if you do this and do that, you know, you're going to get in trouble and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and there's an addictive quality to it. And I, I really kind of hated that at first. But now I like it. I mean, it's your job, right? If you're going to just be doing door dash, it's your job right and it's kind of it kind of leads to peak performance so it's kind of interesting and in, in looking at it from that way you know it's, it's, it kind of turns it doesn't matter if it's an addiction right <laughs> it, you know it's your job you're already doing your job so you might as well might as well go for it but uh anyways something i don't know if i said that very well but i gotta get going i suppose i don't know if it's actually an algorithm or what but it's that system right like those experiments to see with pigeons all right <laughs> when i get an order i got like 30 seconds to hurry up and get it all right so it's like the pigeons peck this peck the pedal on the left not the right you get seed to eat all right oh look oh i peck this i get something to eat i get something good if i do this how you doing Wes. Wendy, uh, what's this? Wesley? Yes. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, man. Have a nice night. You too, That's an interesting place. Final Boss Games. Never been here before. But there it is, right? I just confirmed I completed the order. Another one pops up, right? <laughs> so I'm like the pigeon. I peck button. I get seed to eat. Well, Cracker Barrel, where I live. I normally would not take this order. 
but I'm making this video and actually I didn't even look to see what the name was but hopefully I don't have to sit here and wait I will cancel this so <laughs> uh, if if I have to wait some, I mean like sometimes I make you wait like 30 40 minutes what's up man got a door desk for Gavin it's ready to roll Oh, music to my ears, baby. Have, Have a nice night. Thanks a lot. That is the first time I've ever came to Cracker Barrel and had my water ready to go. Of course, it's uh, about what, about three, a little after three o'clock, so that's probably about the best time to come here between the lunch and dinner rush. If you're out there, you probably will want to avoid Cracker Barrel during the peak dinner hours if you're delivering food it's just they get so busy right they're not the they're not a they're not the fast food restaurant right they're not equipped Right on cue, make the delivery, sit on my bike. There's another order. Burger King, $6, 7.3 miles. That's high mileage, but if you're just using one app, I think DoorDash is far superior. Now this could be different where other people live, but uh, DoorDash seems to really, really have it down pretty good, man. Someone's paying attention somewhere. One thing I've noticed is we get dependent on these computers, on this map. That stupid thing right there, that's a one-way exit out of a gas station on the other side of Burger King. Right, I was supposed to come and take it right here and go here and there. This is a one-way exit and it drove me, and it's a busy intersection right here by the interstate. <laughs> I got stuck right there following that stupid blue line scored another mcdonald's order i was in traffic couldn't get the camera on i guess i'll just try to record every single order i think i might go to midnight i'll see how it goes I'm at a little over four hours right now. Smoothie King. What's up, man? Augustine. PB Swizzle. Oh, yes, we're making that right now. Sounds good. Yeah. Swizzle. Yeah. Gusano's Pizzeria, Chicago style action. Six dollars. I didn't get the mileage. I was in traffic. Ah, smelling good. Got a door desk for Emily. Um, it should be up here. All right. I had a feeling I should stay still. Looks like it's not ready just yet, but I can go check on that for you. Oh, it's not here. It's not ready yet, but I can go. Check hey, it thanks out. a lot. Yeah. Sat on my bark. Water came in. Jersey Mike's. Five fifty three point three miles. Hopefully. It's still quarter to five. It's still a little early for dinner rush. Hopefully, we'll get the dinner rush going here pretty quick, and I'll get some real big orders. And so so far, I, you haven't really seen the power of top dash here. So far, it's just basically been kind of normal. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we get up in the 14 15 16 17 dollar range, and uh, so I can show you the top dash here actually does work and uh, I was skeptical of it up until just the last week I've been doing it and they definitely pay you off so it is worth it to be top dasher 
here's the deal. There was a lull in DoorDash, so I turned Grubhub on. Grubhub threw me a $12 order and I just couldn't resist. It's going down that way. And then uh, I was driving down the road and DoorDash threw me a $15 order. So we'll see if it's ready. Hi, Doc. Sorry? Oh, pick up? Door dash? Uh, okay, I'm bagging it up right now. Give me a couple minutes. Hey, thanks, man. So he's bagging it up. I was hoping it'd be ready. Um, <laughs> I might have to change the name of the title. I might have to change the title of the video. If I end up canceling. Or if DoorDash throws me another. If, if, if DoorDash doubles me up, I might have to decline the order. But uh, let me show you what I'm doing here. I couldn't resist taking this Grubhub order. I was like, ah, who cares if I'm making a video? But <laughs> so I gotta go down here and pick this up for Grubhub. And then uh, let's see on Grubhub where the customer's house is. This DoorDash order is going way down south after I pick up here. That's the reason why I took it, or that's the reason why I didn't cancel the Grubhub and take the door dash so I could keep the video theme going. But, uh, what am I doing here? I can't do, I can't talk and do something at the same time. There we go. Woodlark. The Grubhub's going to Woodlark. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you. So, hopefully it's down south further. Yeah, oh, you know what? It's going. It almost looks like it's going. I didn't look. Pay attention. It's going at least to the same area as DoorDash. So it just worked out perfect. Hey, thanks. Have a good night. So essentially, I'm on a $28 order right now. Dinner time just started. That's what it's all about right here. I have my helmet on, so sometimes you might not hear me too well, but. I'm going to show you the Grubhub map on top of the DoorDash map. It looked like they were pretty good. Not quite the same neighborhood. Let us take a gander. Official gander. <laughs> 4.6 miles southwest. North of see that hump right there that's a landmark for me that's this road called weddington that hump sticks out oh look at grubhub grubhub's throwing me another order you gotta leave me alone grubhub that would be pretty good oh see grubhub setting me up if i were to take grubhub down here i i would normally i would probably i would take that right now if i wasn't making this video but uh I try to take every DoorDash order I get. I would have, I would have taken that Grubhub. That's a nice Grubhub order. There. And then this is a see, so yeah, 10.9. No, I wouldn't have taken that Grubhub. That's actually further out west. That that map. There's the hump. See the hump on Weddington. Grubhub's going there. Sometimes DoorDash condenses their map down, so it looks <laughs> looks all short and small. That's actually 11 miles. Door, you gotta be careful with DoorDash. Sometimes they shrink their maps down on you. Got her done. Taco Bell, 6.50. 3.1 miles. I just dropped off that DoorDash. And uh, that Grubhub. I kind of got lucky on that. But that was real nice. And uh, I can't. I'm not allowed on Uber Eats right now. I wish I would have tried out Top Dasher when I first started doing this. Almost two years ago. I didn't realize the big difference. If I, if I had Uber Eats, you know, because Uber Eats goes 24 hours a day. Grubhub stops at 10, and where I live, Grubhub is only really effective from like 5 to 10. And uh, if I had Uber Eats to go along with Top Dash here on DoorDash, I could conceivably pretty much just, if I never slept, <laughs> just 24 hours a day. And uh, that would be pretty substantial. But uh, anyways... $16 order, 10 miles. 
if I wasn't top dasher, I'd still be getting like three dollar orders. Outback Steakhouse, seven dollars, six and a half miles. That's the last place I wanted to see right now. 6.30, middle of the dinner rush. They have a real bad problem sometimes. <laughs> kind of like Cracker Barrel. They have a hard time getting this stuff out. I took a break, came home, had a little din-din, had to charge up my stuff. We got one for La Huerta. $10, 75 cents, three and a half miles. Almost missed that one. I had to charge up my camera my extra battery pack, my phone, and my earbuds. They, they weren't gonna make it till midnight, so I had to be done. And when I was coming home, I actually got an order on DoorDash for that Outback Steakhouse again, and I actually declined it. I was coming home to take a break, so I'm not gonna count that, even though I did get one. Steak and Shake Extra. I had a fairly long wait at La Huerta, about 10 minutes or so. <sighs> Pizza Hut action. Pardon me, sir. I don't mean to get your clean floor all dirty. I don't mean to drop the camera neither. I skipped one sports bar called Walk Ons. It was nice. I think it was a $15 order. There was a cop messing with the, or not messing, but. There's this guy with his headlights off pulling out of the parking lot. And I was flicking my lights out trying to get his attention. I was behind a cop. <laughs> the cop stopped. I told him to turn his headlights on. I got distracted. Long story short. Forgot to turn the camera on. But uh alright. Let's see where we're at here. That's only 9.30. I thought it was later than that. I can't, I can barely see that with my eyes. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. It's kind of strange. If I stare at this for long enough, I'll eventually be able to focus on it. <laughs> and then I'll look out there, my long vision will be a little blurry. And then I look out there driving for a long time. I look down here, it's all blurry. Me get button to push. Me get feed to eat. <laughs> That's the order right there. Door's locked. Huh. Man, they've been closed for 42 minutes. 9 p.m. <laughs> It's sitting right there in the bar, see it? Hey, that's nice. Look at that. It's got little butt marks carved out of it. <laughs> One, two, three, four butt marks. I can't say I've seen that before. That's pretty neat. Now, that's an old door, isn't it? Hey, that's a pretty nice little rig right there. Huh. See, when the store's closed, they, they're pretty good at, at uh, having a process for that. So when it comes to problems, this is not a bad one. 
they just want a picture of the sign. So. No problemo. I should get paid like I think I think I'll get paid three dollars. Let's see. Let's see what it says. I think I'll get three dollars. What did that say? That, that was more than three. That's. I think they gave me half. I think they gave me half pay on that. I have to check that later. What did I say? Four sixty-seven or something. Okay. So you see that? Just immediately, I got an order. Uh, Wendy's. Eleven dollars for six point six miles. It's not bad. It's going way out west. Five thirty-seven. My photo. Thank you for submitting your photo. The store will be marked as closed. DoorDash pay. Other pay. Five thirty-seven. So that's all right. I'll take I'll take five dollars and thirty seven cents. All I did was just drive down the street just a touch, and uh, I'd almost rather do that than go ahead and make the delivery. <laughs> I, I don't remember what it was. Uh, that was not bad. So if all problems like that were that simple, the apps would be a lot better. They're just didn't take hardly any time and I got paid five bucks the problem I had to begin this video with the bad address I sat there I wasted probably 20-25 minutes and uh, I'll probably get a strike I'll see if he reported it I'll, I'll probably get a strike maybe for that it depends but uh, these apps could be a whole lot better I tell you what Twenty minute wait. <laughs> I didn't want to run into that situation. This order at Wendy's, they were out of the potato, and they were out of the, and they were out of the spicy chicken sandwich. They weren't in any big hurry to get that order going. <laughs> 20 minute wait. That's the deal where if I had Uber Eats, if I wasn't making this video, I might have just canceled it and went on my way. I, I would have had another order by now and probably delivered it by now. Or if I had Uber Eats running. You can't go around waiting 20 minutes. That's not good. Taco smell. I actually just declined a McDonald's. It was like four miles for two dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and change the video a little. I'm not gonna do that. Where I live, McDonald's, when it gets to 11 p.m. and after McDonald's just turns into a just a, a mess. I don't, I'm not gonna go sit sit in a drive-through line at McDonald's for a half hour to make two dollars. Wiener Schnitzel. The Wiener Schnitzel order took me back towards where I live, so I plan on that being the last one. I actually took one more after that to Wendy's right up the street from me, and. Uh, it was a real long wait, drive through was backed up, and it would have been like another $9 for like another 14 miles to drive, so I just unassigned it and went home. I did not tally this up last night. Let's have a look, see how I did. I was, gonna, I was shooting for 12 hours, about 10 and a half hours, we'll call it, ballpark, if I take out the break I took, and uh, a little bit of time for that early order where I sat there for 20, 25 minutes doing nothing. And uh, so it's March 10th. Okay, so March 10th, Sunday. I didn't say that in the video. That was a Sunday day and Sunday evening. Sundays are not too bad usually. Uh, 
thirty dollars and ninety nine dollars one hundred twenty nine dollars just say one thirty and then sixty seven one ninety seven take off one nice about one ninety seven thrown in the change one ninety six one ninety seven so that's close that's close to two hundred and remember I snuck in that sneaky when a sneaky grub hub on it won so what I say one one ninety seven twelve dollars forty nine cents so call it one ninety seven and twelve right two hundred nine dollars so that's not bad and uh two hundred nine dollars divided by ten point five is gonna be close to twenty dollars an hour let's see nineteen dollars ninety cents an hour that's not bad um it's not bad it's, it's this average that's pretty good and uh well, what else I got to say? Uh, what else? What else we got to say, Hooch? Yeah. Uh, what else we got to say? It's a good seeing you guys. It's been a while since I've seen me some YouTube audience. Well, let me get one of them kitty cats. <laughs> one of them kitty cats is down there on the floor. I see it. There's people mowing the yard. Anyway, it's good seeing y'all. Well, take care. We'll see you later. I sure hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. I, I declined a few orders in there. I also declined another one from Casey's, a $2 order from Casey's. So two Casey's, a $2 order from McDonald's, it's two, and an Outback three. Uh, I declined three. I, dec I actually declined three orders during that video. And one at Wendy's, I unassigned. So four, four total. All right. I could have done it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that two dollar. I can't. I can't stand doing a two dollar stuff, particularly when I got sick, like I said in the drive-through. All right, later. Thanks for watching.